got here. Big time is here. Big time looks like shit. Sorry to bring you all the way out here like this. Yeah. So where's this body? It's a fucking mess. Did you just show me? Hello there. What? Where, where am I? Don't concern yourself with that. How did I get here? I brought you here. <laughs> well, isn't this funny? I thought you would think so. I'm sorry about the twine. On my salary, I couldn't afford handcuffs. No, no, they're good and tight. Almost cutting off circulation. Nice job. Thanks. Uh, so, who's the mystery man? Hmm? Ryan. Ryan Raver. And you're the Joker. At your service. You have no idea how true that is. Oh, I'm sure I don't. Nice digs. I like it. It's, it's sad. Foreboding. They say you can tell a lot about a man by his environment. And this one tells me that little Rai Rai's got a sob story. So, what is it? Mom and Dad didn't pay enough attention to you? Were you picked on in school? Oh, come on. Every boy's got a sob story. You can tell Uncle Jay. All right, fine. What's the game here? No game. No game, you say? Well, seems like you went through a lot of hell to get me here. Kudos to you on that. But don't you worry that any minute now, Gotham's own flying rodent is gonna bust through here and put an end to this little shindig. I'm not too concerned. We're a little far for him to travel. Oh, don't you underestimate his reach. He Texas. Be... I'm sorry? You were trying to get me to tell you where we are. We're in Texas. <laughs> You're almost as funny as I am. It's not a joke. I don't expect you to believe it, and I don't need you to. Right now, all I need from you 
is to be serious. Oh, Rai Rai. Serious is just something I don't do. Try. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I I tried, kiddo. I tried. <laughs> Try harder. Woo! Now things are getting interesting. If you're not going to be serious, I'm going to have to use this. You don't know how to threaten people, do you? Well, was that your daddy's gun? The side. <laughs> <laughs> that was loud. Yes, yes, it was. Are you going to be serious now? Let me think about it. Mm. Nope. You little fuck! I warned you. You didn't listen. What's the game here? What's the punchline? No game. Just a question. Fine. Call me intrigued. Ask away. I want to know how. How... what? How you do it. How you can kill a man and not feel a thing. How you can go to someone's work after you got off a double shift, kidnap him, force him to drive you back to his house where you tie up him and his pregnant wife and torture her in front of him. I want to know how you can cut her and beat her and laugh while she screams. And then slit her throat and force open his eyes so he can't look away. Forcing him, me, to live in that moment forever. I want to know how you can skip away without a care in the world. I want to know how man knows when to kill. <laughs> I remember you. That really stuck with you. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I did a number on you. Go me. Say, did you pat me on the back? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks. I asked you a question. So, you want to dive into the mine of madness? Are you sure that's a line you want to cross? Because once you do, you're gone. Tell me. A man knows when to kill when he no longer cares about his own life. In order to kill, you have to be dead inside. Hollow. Nothing left in, in you to find you as a man. When that can happen, then you are ready to kill. So, I answered your question. Time for you to answer one of mine. Usually it takes the bats a few days to find me. But how did you, a simpleton, pull something like that off? I'm sorry, Puddin. Now that is impressive. Seeing as how Batman can never get her to spill the beans. I'm not him. Clearly. 
Clearly you're something different. You're not the brooding hero. Not the vigilante cop. So tell me. What are you? I'm not him. And I'm not you. I'm here. Well, I guess we all have to be somewhere, don't we? You're not looking very good. Okay. I'm gonna kill you now. What? No more heartfelt convos. No more meaningful words. No. I have my answer. You know, I've looked down the barrel of Gordon's service revolver many times. I've even stared into the dull, lifeless eyes of the Dark Knight. But you... They never looked like you. That's because they care about their own lives. I don't. Is it really him? Cat. Yes. Yes, it's him. Figured you'd be jumping for joy over this. He's probably just mad he wasn't the one that did it. <laughs> you two need to cordon off the city right now. I want the mayor and the commissioner on the phone. Every uniformed officer that you can get, I want here now. Why? Because you have a murder suspect out there, Lieutenant. And if he's capable of killing this thing, your entire city's in danger. There's no need for that. Really? Would you mind telling me why that is, Detective? Because we already got the guy. Where is he? When we arrived on scene, he was just sitting there. Dumb son of a bitch. Didn't even try to run. I don't know who you are. I don't even know where you come from. The only thing I want to know is how. How could you do it? Just tell me. Tell me why you did it. Tell me. Tell me now. Tell me! Talk, you little son of a bitch! Tell me how you did it! Tell me how you did it! Tell me how you... Gorse! Gorse! Calm down. He's just a piece of trash. You're welcome. Sick fuck, let's get him out of here. I know a good interrogator downtown who's gonna make him wish he was the Joker. No. All due respect, sir, this is our jurisdiction. That is our suspect. You're not gonna get anything out of it. 
How do you figure? Because he's got nothing left. He's gone. Everything's gonna be okay now, right?